Augusta. Ga. Tom Watson won the par 3 contest. And Jack Nicholas grandson, GT, made a hole in one on the final hole Wednesday. You'd be hard pressed to pick one feat being better than the other on the eve of the 82nd Masters. Editors picks how Matt Parziali went from fighting fires to playing alongside Tiger at Augusta. Everyone around Matt Parziali knew he had big potential, especially his father, Vic. This week, the golfer's dreams will become a reality as son and father take the course at the Masters. Forewarned, silly shouts not funny to Masters Augusta national officials will keep a close eye and ear on fan behavior during the Masters. With silly shouts possibly leading to spectators being ejected, Augusta National adds women's event to Slade Augusta National will host the final round of a new 54-hole women's amateur tournament on the Saturday before the Masters. Beginning next year, two related, the family-friendly, nine-hole exhibition on Augusta National Scenic Par 3 course saw Watson, Nicholas and Gary Player dazzle with an array of birdies, only to be outdone by Gary Nicholas Jr., GT, who aced the final hole while wearing a caddy bib. Having carried his grandfather's bag for the competition, the younger Nicholas, 15, had never made an ace before, and he did so to large cheers from the gallery and tears from his grandfather, the six-time winner of the Masters. That's no one for me, said Nicholas, 78, who has tried to have all of his 22 grandchildren participate in the Par 3 event over the years. I'm running out of par minus threes, he said, so I've had to double up. Single quote, single quote. That's why GT's sister, Nina, also participated as a caddy. Watson, 68, who won the Masters in 1977 and 1981, also won the par three contest in 1982. No winner of the par three, which began in 1960, has won the Masters in the same year. Hence a supposed jinx. After I birdied the first four holes, I thought it would be really neat to win the par three, said Watson, who played the last of his 43 Masters in 2016. I won it a long time ago and of course I didn't win the tournament. I'm not playing the tournament this year. So I said let's go for it. Single quote single quote. Watson finished one stroke ahead of Tommy Fleetwood and Thomas Peters and two ahead of Nicholas. Shea Reevy and Adam Hadwin. It was a marvelous day, said player, 82, who was two under par. G.T. Nicholas is the son of one of Jack and Barbara Nicholas' six children. Gary, who played professional golf for a time. G.T. is said to be the best of all the grandchildren and the one who appreciates playing the game the most. GT also played with Jack Nicholas at the Father-Son Championship in December. When Jack asked GT on Wednesday if he wanted to hit a tee shot at the ninth traditionally where family members take their turns during the par 3 contest, Jack predicted GT would make an ace. I was just trying to hit it on the green, trying to hit a good shot. The younger Nicholas said, this is probably my favorite week of the year. This is a special tournament and golf is a sport I love. To have that happen is unbelievable. But my thought process was to do the best I could. Single quote single quote. When GT Nicholas hit the shot to the 135 yard hole. He seemed to know it was good immediately. Twirling his club and then watching as it hit the green. Trickled back toward the hole and ever so slowly dropped into the cup. A big roar went up and a huge celebration ensued involving Nicholas. Watson and player, you always want the best for your kids and your grandkids. Jack Nicholas said, to have a hole-in-one on the biggest venue in the world on a day where he's here to caddy for his grandfather, and then to knock it in the hole. Wow, what a day. I'm sure his father is up there in the trees and hasn't come down. And to have his sister, Nina, with us too.
single quote, single quote.